Hey everyone, uh, I want to demonstrate a little script uh, that I was working on. Um, I, I, I watch a lot of YouTube stuff and get tired of the advertisements coming up. Um, and of course, I'm not actually going to uh, prevent ads from showing up, but I'm going to have it automatically when the skip ad appears, click it for me because it just, you know, I don't want to have to be watching for that. So uh, I'm going to use my fine text. Um, and this is my version. There's a newer version, which um, is a slightly faster, but, um, and it's a different structure. So um, you can definitely use it, but the syntax I'm going to show you isn't going to work any because I changed their object structure in it. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to say capture, come in, and this is the area I want to, I want to be looking for. Okay, so you know what? Honestly, that I'll take a little off the top here, a little on the left, I guess. I have videos showing how to use the find text function, so I'm not going to get into that. But um, let's take the grayscale. Um, here is where I can add a little comment, so skip... YouTube ad. Now let's go ahead and test it. Say it says, okay, that means it found it. Um, it took a hundred, well, 0. 0.172 milliseconds. Um, so there it moved my mouse over to it, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this line and push this into where I had that. So as you can see up here, I had another one, but um, this is for YouTubes, so. Let me minimize this. Now, what the script is going to do is when you launch it, it's going to go try to see, um, it, first we store this item here, which if we come back in here, see, see all this? The thing to the right here, that's the encrypted value of what this looks like. So it's nice as we don't have to actually save the file, um, the, the image file that you're searching for. So it's, it's encoded it into a text string, um, and that's what this is. And so we're storing that in a variable, um, and this just remind you what it is, right? So this is basically a comment inside that. And uh, so we store that, and then we're going to do a while loop, while loop, excuse me, and it says while OK is not a thing, right? This not OK means, hey, OK doesn't exist. It doesn't have any sort of value in it. Um, it's going to keep looping over it until it does. So um, it's going to come in. It's going to try the find text function, which I don't have inside the script. It's in my library. Um, that's where I recommend to put it if you're using this. Um, and it's going to search basically everywhere. So 0, 0 to 15,000, 15,000. Um, and here, this part, this is what we're looking for, which is what we defined here. And um, it's going to try, and if that doesn't find it, OK is not going to be a variable, and um, it's going to keep going. Um, well, in this whole loop, it'll keep going, but um, it's going to sleep a little bit. And then, uh, because I'm almost always watching this, my YouTube stuff in Chrome, let's say I'm running the script and I close Chrome. Well, this would never find it, and I don't want it to keep running. So it's going to say, hey, if Chrome doesn't exist, go ahead and exit this script entirely. Um, so it's going to keep doing this loop until it finds it, says OK, um, and let's see here. Actually, no, yeah, that, this is just if Chrome doesn't exist, it'll exit. Um, but I want that in this loop. And then after here, OK does exist, so it's going to get past this, and then it's going to come down here and click OK. And then it's going to exit out of the script because there's no hotkeys um, or anything in this. So I'm going to run this. You know what? Let me move over this so we can see what's running and not running. So down in my system tray, and we can close the uh, find text function now. So I'm going to run this and notice the little green H is here. Now it's doing its little looping thing right now, right? When I come back in here and uh, <laughs> there, there it goes. It, it went and clicked that for me and then uh, moved the mouse back and notice it exited out of the script. So um, I'll make this available. Now you're, you might have to um, you might have to update, you know, this like I did with the find text function, right? Um, but having said that, this second part should work fine for you if you're if you're watching videos or YouTube with Chrome. Um, it's just going to look for look for whatever it finds, and it's going to keep looking for it until it finds it in the next out of it. So uh, this is a, a handy thing. You might want to have it running all the time, and that way, anytime you know it has a uh, an ad pop up, it'll find it and click it for you and move the mouse back. Um, this, by the way, this find text left click that's not in any of the stuff from find text i wrote that because i wanted to be able to after i find something actually click it I, i'm not adjusting the x or y because i'm clicking right in the center of it and then i'm moving the mouse back to where it was 
Um, that's what this line does. But you're going to have to uh, use my version or, or go get it in or, or, or manually do it yourself. Click at the coordinates, uh, move it back. It's fine. So I just thought that was a, a fun little thing that it's another use for auto hotkey and fine text. Cheers.